Hey, what's up, guys? This is Tino from 925 Investment Group. Guys, my name is Sean, 925 Investment Group. Want to thank you guys for watching uh, our last episode one video. We love Mondays. Here you get episode two, sacrifices. Um, things that I had to sacrifice was a lot of time. I sacrificed time with my family. You know, like I said, when you start anything new, it's gonna take time. You're gonna sacrifice a lot. But I don't really see it so much as a sacrifice anymore. A lot of times they say what you think you are in your head, you're total opposite in real life. I guess all those sacrifices allow me to become who I knew I was in my head. Like it's, it's coming out, you know? seven feet high for it to count as the little square footage. So, I mean, I asked Mike if, it, if there's anything we can do, and, you know, it costs 10000 plus to dig down. And, you know, I mean, realistically, if we were to do it, Mike, what would it cost, like twenty five grand, thirty grand? Yeah, because you got to rip everything out, dig out the basement, re yeah. it, put everything back in. Y'all, this is Sean from 925 here. We are at uh, our North Philly duplex property. So it's in the 19132 area. But um, here we are with our team from class. Uh, a bunch of investors kind of just helping each other out. But we're at our duplex. What we're doing today was uh, kind of touring a property with our contractor and also our hard money lender to see what type of rehabs we could do to get it pushed to a certain value amount for the property so that we can um, refinance out and pull that uh, a nice lump sum out. I think it's like about 65% of the uh, the value of the uh, duplex. Use that money and go get more properties. So um, with that being said, we didn't appraise the way we wanted to or if we were to do rehab, we gotta dig up the basement. It's gonna cost a little bit too much and it's gonna make the house, um, it's gonna go over value. We're gonna spend way too much money than what the house should be worth. So we're not gonna do that, but it's all good. That's why we're here strategizing trying to uh, keep it moving forward and how we can use the equity in the house to finance our next deal. So yeah, that's what we're doing here. See how you feel today. I'm just ready to get this uh, this refi out, out of the house. You know, our property and just keep it moving. Trying to grab more properties with it. Yeah, so uh, in a second when we split up, right, I'll actually give you a tour of the upstairs. Uh, I do have a tenant downstairs, so we won't go in that much. But it's the exact same shit, so you'll get a little glimpse of uh, our duplex, all right? Yeah, we got to uh, make, yeah, make fun of Warren and shit. Look, all right, so Darby, I feel like all right guys uh this is where i'm gonna take control of what you guys are watching you know how things get sped up when you walk up steps and shit I'm about to just run there and run right back in one second. Go, 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 go. I'm not doing it. All right, y'all. I'm going to give you a tour of uh, the duplex. We talk about it a lot, so let's uh, duplex. give you guys a little grand tour. All right, so we're, uh, we're going up to our duplex. Hold on. This is where we speed it up again. Go ahead. Oh. I'm all running this shit up. All right, so basic uh, one bedroom apartment. There you have it. I'm not gonna say the view is amazing, but you got a window. It's, it's not, not ocean view, but it's, it's a not view. ocean view. It's got the view. All right, let's, let's make a way here. outside. Oh, there's no gas in this house. Everything uh, got converted to electric, so it's a lot easier for our tenants. 24/7 security. Casa de Grande. No security code. Pero yo estoy hablando inglés. 
But ¿Cómo tu no lo entiendes? Hey, at least he's making the place secure, and I still don't know what he's saying. You know what it is? It's security on a budget. So this is what we gotta deal with for now, but it's alright, we'll learn as we go. It's alright, this is our first duplex, so yeah. we can't uh, afford them alarm systems, so this is what we uh, mm -hmm. got right now. We found them at Home Depot. Dinero, dinero. Oh, yeah, I don't have money. Dinero. Oh, okay. Oh, that's how it is. That's it, man. That's what we agreed on. Oh, you know what he's saying. I think, uh, Peyton. We'll clarify this, sorry. If y'all can translate that and let us know what he's saying. But, uh, what? Back in you go. Back in you go. Back in you go. We're leaving now, so. Back in you go. All the same thing. Alright, guys, here we go again where things get better. So. Alright guys, now yeah, we're gonna head back to Southwest. Actually, uh, Lansdowne, we're gonna uh, give you guys an update on the fix and flip and um, see what they got going on, what updates have been done since uh, episode one. And then right after that, we have a little special uh, third property tour. Um, it connects with what you guys saw in episode one, so you'll see that in a few. Speed it up. What's up guys, uh, Tino again from 925. We're back at our Wayne property, uh, checking up on progress. This is week two. So um, if you guys haven't watched the first video, watch that and then uh, we'll take you on a little walkthrough and see uh, how, how it's going in there. So we'll check up on Don and then uh, you know, take a little tour. Come on. Right, yeah, let's see what that big We'll speed like, it up yo. again. Stop, normal. Stop. Speed it up. Ducks are in, all that good stuff. We got the front door in. Okay. We got the back one just sitting there temporary in there, yeah. so you know, don't worry about that. Okay. This one's done. Mm -hmm. I just got to put the siding back on the oh, side. Good. And yeah. then we'll start boxing and all the uh, duct work and everything where it's oh. going to be. Oh, okay. right. We start seeing a lot more going together now that the duct work's in. Okay. Right, right. So here you have it. He's got the duct work all installed. Uh, definitely some progress here. They're definitely coming together guys. I think it's always cool to see the supplies start coming in. The uh, 40 yard dumpster, that's uh, we got rid of that. So demo clean out was complete and it was a success. So now uh, going into framing because we got some nice fresh wood there. Starting the belt work. And, uh, the kitchen, pretty cool to see it happen, you know. We always say we don't want to do it, but we we want to understand how it gets done. So just to catch this and also share it with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys were here, remember last time it used to be a sliding door. Oh no, they got it. Yeah, nice. wrap that right in there. Came out good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, inside the bathroom, it's going to be just a false ceiling. Mm -hmm. Out here, it'll come down and just go straight across the wall. Oh, nice. You guys got the first floor, um, ductwork getting put in. We got supplies, we got new doors uh, in. So let's go see what the second floor is looking like. So you already know what I'm about to do. Speed things up, let's go. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. One, two, baby. Space. What he did was he just split it and made it into two rooms. Yes. Room number one. Now we're in room number two. It's going to go all the way back to the wall. Okay. Gaining another two feet. Got a nice size cut there. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you guys are not to. How about the class that you want to open it up? Uh, no, this this is bad. this is gonna be bad. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna do this. Uh, Thirty inch door. So you have a pocket door. door. Right, right. The toilet will be there. Sink, twenty four inch sink, right about right about in here. And the fourth, the shower is gonna come out four feet. Stand up, like almost four feet. Right, right. And it's gonna be nice size. And we're thinking about putting a rain head in it rather than just the shower thing coming off. Oh, I like Put a nice little rain head on. Uh -huh, I like that. that. Nice whole concept. So the pocket door will go in between here. I don't even have a shower. I just dumped a little. I might take a shower in here before we sell it. You know, that's <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah. We're there. Do y'all remember these windows? Yeah. Go ahead, Tino. Count them Yeah, yeah, this is what I said. Uh, episode <laughs> one, 250, 250, 250. So each window is typically, we would say, like 250. Oh, that's old. See that boat right there? Wow. Well, my family came in. <laughs> <laughs> sacrifices, sacrifices, you know what I mean? If you don't know what that is, we were thinking about that sacrifice. It came here from nothing. Over here, one over there now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed it up again? Oh, yeah. Got Speed it up. Oh. Here we are. The normal. Yeah, so the bedroom here, you got the storage, both sides. Figure, put a bit of bed up against this wall. Put the restroom back into that one, a couple shelving units across the bottom, right in there. Oh, this is that special uh, room. That room. Storage area. Yeah. Yeah. Don't remember but, that. Uh, hold on. Uh, last time I said that, the magic happens. I got in trouble, so now no magic happens at all at home. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody did that to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We'll run the water system up, the over drain system, everything. Ooh. This will all be she rocked out very similar to how the uh, bedroom is over okay. there. Do it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the boss never does the firing. The employee fires themselves. That's yeah, so basically what it comes down to. I just got fired. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to make all this happen, I had to sacrifice Tino when we got fired. He really did. I promise you this is facts and a true story. Just when I... Up. When I was getting fired, Tino was off. He wasn't even working for like three weeks. About three weeks. And he had no clue what was going I on. Ain't no shit. <laughs> so uh, when I got fired, I was like, man, Tino, you might as well get fired with me. So uh, the first day he came back, they they let him go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> After like three week vacation. <laughs> I came back not knowing nothing. They called me to the back as soon as I clocked in. It was like, hey, uh, you know, ask me a few questions. It's like, oh, you can go home. And I was like, nonchalant. I was like, okay, shit, I'll go home. I don't want to work anyways. And after that, I just never yeah, went back. Welcome back, but see you later. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think they want me back. But that's the sacrifice. Thanks to him. Yeah, he had to sacrifice me. I did sacrifice him to make this happen. And also, we sacrificed, well, for me, I sacrificed that hourly pay to make this. And it's the best sacrifice I ever made. Uh, but I uh, sacrificed some sleep you know, last night, you know, um, just investing in myself and hopefully create more time to spend with family. Yeah. So, you know, I do what I got to do. I'm out here grinding, you know. Believe in yourself. I'll give him up again, you know what I mean, to, to get to the next level. I'll sacrifice yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, speed it up. This is a family member of mine, Em. Um, I'm so glad that she came out to see this because uh, I remember when I started, I was telling everybody that I was going to invest in real estate. I was going to, you know, get a fix and flip going, and I'm going to sell it and cash out and do it again. And it's, uh, I'm just glad that uh, I was able to share that thought or you know dream, and uh, kind of like to have you here and actually to see the fix and flip going on. Um, because you got to see my dream actually become a reality, you know? And then, uh, when I was saying it then, you know, I didn't really think it would come so fast. So to have this kind of like huge leap within less than a year to get involved in a fix and flip, um, it's just a blessing. So thank you, Em, for, uh, you know, just coming out here to visit. Yeah, yeah. Very proud of you. This thank is you. awesome. Um, things that I had to sacrifice was a lot of time when I was working my nine to five, on the way to work, I would sacrifice sleep to wake up early, get to the gym, listen to my education via audio. After work, sacrifice my time to go to school. Yeah, I do sacrifice a lot. 
I sacrifice time with my family. You know, like I said, when you start anything new, it's gonna take time. You're gonna sacrifice a lot. But I don't really see it so much as a sacrifice anymore. I've become what I wanted to be. A lot of the sacrifices is pretty much time, you know, time away from the family, always out there grinding and working, never being home. So it's, it's really, you know, primarily for me, like he said, it, it is time. In reality, uh, you know, I'm creating a possibility for, you know, for Sean and I to, to have more time, for, you know, for the family. Because I'm a father, I'm a, uh, I'm, a, I'm a husband, so, you know, that's all I want really ultimately is just to be with my family 24-7. It's only going to get better, you know, sacrificing and investing to get more time. All right, y'all, wrapping up here at the Fix and Flip. Wayne Street, so uh, now we are gonna take you to what you guys saw last week in episode one where we uh, settled on our seller finance deal. And uh, we're gonna hit that property now, give you guys a tour and update of uh, what that property looks like. So let's go. Let's go. Exactly. Hey yo, Bill. Hold, hold on, yo. Hey yo, Bill. We recording right we recorded. now, bro. Say something. What say something. What you want to say on camera, oh, you bro? Live? Nah, we not live. Guys, we not live. We recording. We recording for episode two. You guys are freaking crushing, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're inspiring so many people. I love it, bro. You guys are helping everybody. When we got our duplex and we got fired, if it wasn't for Bill, we wouldn't have gotten it to cash flow what we got uh, going on with it now. So it's producing a, a nice monthly income. And then uh, without Bill Services, his professionalism, he wouldn't have, uh, we wouldn't be where we are at with uh, that situation. And uh, you know, Bill, I wanna say thank you for that. Cause you really, really make our lives stress and headache free with your service. And uh, guys, if you need your rental property occupied, um, my guy Bill will screen them, tour them, schedule appointments, market your property in many different avenues in the real estate game, and he'll find you a good quality quality tenant. So uh, yeah, Bill, I just wanted to plug that in for you because uh, you really help us a lot. Right. What, what was your uh, website Bill, again? BillTheRentalGuy.com. There y'all go. That. Uh, we're at our Glenmore property. Uh, this is the one that we were talking about in the last episode, uh, the one that we got with no money and no credit. So we're about to give you a tour of that. If you guys uh, actually don't remember, um, JL, rewind it back and give him the pressure. Rewind that back. Free house. I feel good. Came to the closing table with zero dollars. Paid the seller zero dollars, and uh, he's happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. Boom! Are you guys just got that refresher of the settlement of our episode one? And uh, this is the house that we got with zero down and um, none of our money, none of our credit. So he's never prepared and shit. Hold on, I got it. I got it. Slide with the, the flashlight, right? One, two, three. Got it. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, no, no, no. Got it. Oh, man, I just had some, too. Oh, come on in. Welcome to our new home. That we got for free. This is it. That's all our finance deal that we did. Zero down, zero interest, none of our money, none of our credit, and uh, it's pretty stable. If uh, I say so myself. But, minor, uh, minor updates. Minor updates, but uh, here you guys go. Let's uh, take a tour of the property. I right, gotta get rid of this. Update this. This has gotta go and redo the floors, that's pretty much it. So we'll probably put a new laminate, I guess like a different color of his preference. All right, so here we're going to update the electric panel, get it up to code, and then we're also going to fix the plumbing over here. There's a leak within the cast iron, and that's pretty much it. If we fix this basement up, 
um, it would be considered another room because of the high ceilings. So this is like, what, the utility room? Utility room, we got this inspected. There's no leaks. Um, we just gotta get it turned on now at this point. So, yeah, pretty high ceilings. I think this is why Tino liked it. Yeah. I liked it because it was free. Let's forward it. <laughs> we got the second bedroom. Um, pretty much just kind of paint it, up to date it, kind of freshen it up, uh, fix the plumbing issue. That's a big ass yeah. Fix uh some. This is already fixed. But um, the way the pipe is uh, running, it's going uphill to drain out. So we'll probably update it a little bit more to secure the, the piping. The person who did it last time did some shortcuts and we just, for peace of mind, we want it done correctly. Bathroom, pretty good. Um, there is uh, some type of leakage out here. You can see all the caulk that was done. Uh, what we probably will do is just put a bath fitter or replace it, whichever is cheaper. Um, vanity, toilet, is working perfectly fine. So, that's the bathroom, y'all. Closet, let's see what's in the closet. <laughs> yo! Hey, yo, Sean! The closets connect the room, as you can see. But this is the master. And uh, again, update-wise, we'll probably just paint the walls. Make sure it's nice, clean. Maybe floors. And uh, floors maybe, maybe. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. Jay, what do you think? What do you think about the floors? You know what, viewers? Yeah, what do you, you think? let us know. You let us know if we should replace the floors or not. Drop a comment and uh, whatever you guys think we may do. Yeah. So uh, yeah, let us know. Suggestions. We're open to trying anything. Love yeah, you. guys. So free house. You tell me if uh, if this is something you would like for yourself, cause you could definitely do it. You could definitely achieve it. Um, me and Tino put a lot of time into education, and that is what really excelled us to be around. A lot of uh, investors that are actively um, doing real estate deals now, so we get to learn from them. But you know, you guys kind of see the result. You got the flashback of the closing, and uh, here we are. You know, a week after purchasing the property, uh, you you let me know how bad of a renovation this would be for you. You know, if it's going to be a headache, cause it's it's easily done. You know, get somebody living here, pay off that uh, seller finance note, and then. You can gain uh, ownership of the property, free and clear. You'll find the information below, email, um, reach out to us, ask us how, guys. You could definitely do this, I promise you. You could do this, just uh, make the decision to start. So the easiest thing that we did for ourselves in real estate investing is just deciding to become one, a real estate investor. Bro, is this the right house? No, this ain't even the right house and shit, bro. Bro, I don't even think this is the right house. Get out of here. Oh shit, bro, we gotta get the fuck out of here. I didn't even know we had the wrong one. How you gonna come into the wrong house? It's just like when we left our check uh, at the title agency over the weekend. All right, we just uh, locked it up, bro. Wrong house, y'all. Yo, bro, man, how'd you get the wrong house, bro? Bro, man, you with GPS. Oh, man. Man, it's Glenmore with two O's. You put Glenmore with one O. Did you know I can't Man, let's just get out of here, bro. Right, man, let's get in the car, bro. Matter of fact, let me drive. You can't drive this car. Man, we out of here.